Welcome back to another Orcad X Capture How-To video. In this video, we'll guide you through opening and viewing the Live Bomb feature in your capture project. We'll explore the different user interface elements and demonstrate how to use Live Bomb to optimize and enhance your bill of materials health. When you open Live Bomb, a new tab will appear labeled Live Bomb, followed by the name of your design. In this tab, you'll see the bomb list view for your design. At the top of the tab, you'll find the following elements. The last indicated timestamp indicates when the bomb data was last refreshed. Search bar allows you to quickly locate specific elements within the bomb. View selector dropdown enables you to switch between the base bomb view and any variant views of your design, if applicable. Below that, you'll find the tiles section, which groups components based on specific criteria. These tiles also serve as filters in the part list view, which we'll explore further in this video. Here's a breakdown of each tile. Total displays the total number of components placed in the schematic. Unmatched shows components that either lack a manufacturer part number or have an MPN that cannot be found in Source Engine's database. Unique parts lists unique internal or company specific components used in the design. MPN counts components with MPN defined which can be located in Source Engine's database. No MPN indicates the number of components without an NPN. EOL represents components with a life cycle status of end of life. Not ROHS shows the number of components that do not comply with ROHS or restriction of hazardous substances regulations. Additionally, the risk and high risk scores reflect the design's risk level. The risk tile indicates the number of components at medium to high risk. These parts may have limited availability, longer lead times, and require life cycle review. High risk shows components at high risk, which may be unavailable, have long lead times, or have inactive, obsolete, or unclear life cycles. Obsolete represents the number of components classified as discontinued. In the bomb list view, you can easily sort and organize the bomb data by clicking on the header cells. For each component row, you'll find detailed part information along with real-time supply chain data retrieved from the source engine. This includes compliance status, life cycle information, market availability score, design risk, and pricing. When you select a component row, additional details will appear. On the right-hand side, you'll see the Properties tab, which provides in-depth information about the manufacturer part number. This includes General Section, which displays general details about the MPN. Supply Risk section shows design risk and market availability score. A high score indicates that the part is available for multiple vendors with short lead times. This section also provides lead time information in days. Pricing data. View pricing trends over a 30 to 90 day time frame using the drop down menu. Inventory section. Lists the number and types of vendors with stock for these parts along with an inventory stock chart displayed over weekly intervals. Properties section shows key attributes and properties, such as device ratings. In addition to the Properties tab, the Live Bomb feature displays alternate MPNs for the selected component in the bottom panel. Each alternative MPN includes its supply chain details, and the last column shows the compatibility type with the selected MPN. The pie chart on the left visualizes the life cycle distribution of available alternates, indicating active MPNs as a percentage. If you need to find alternative NPNs, use the search tab by typing the NPM into the search field. The search field will automatically populate with the part number, making it easier to find relevant NPNs. To view the live bomb data in dashboard view, Click the Tiles view icon at the top right. This will open the dashboard view, providing an overall summary of your design. In the dashboard view, you'll find Bomb Health section displays the overall health of the bomb as a grade. This grading considers factors such as environmental risk, life cycle status, multi-source availability, and inventory risk for the parts. Graphical pie charts offer statistical insights into component availability and availability forecasts. A higher score indicates better availability and shorter lead times. Overall design risk distribution chart evaluates the lead time for the bomb based on supply data 
and product life cycle, providing a visual representation of the design risk. Life cycle distribution chart shows the life cycle status of the parts of the bomb, giving insight into various stages of component life cycles. At the bottom of the dashboard view, you'll find a consolidated list of part numbers that are at higher risk, end of life, or at significant inventory risk. Use the tiles discussed earlier to filter specific part groups. For example, clicking the high risk tile will filter out components with higher design risk, helping you quickly identify and address potential issues. If you select multiple tiles, the results will be filtered to display the combined criteria. For example, if you click both the high risk and the not ROHS tiles, the view will show components that are both high risk and non ROHS compliant. To proceed, Select the filtered component row to view its details and alternative part information. From the list of alternatives displayed, choose an alternate MPN. Selecting an alternate MPN will refresh the details on the right section of the screen, showing information for the selected alternative. This should have better market availability, lower risk, and ROHS compliance. Click the plus icon to replace the current MPN with this alternative. Once replaced, you'll see a reduction in the part count for the high risk and not ROHS tiles. Next, filter out the obsolete component and replace it with an NPN that is active status. Switch to the unmatched tile and select a component row. Since this part lacks an NPN, LiveBomb will automatically open the search bar, pre-populated with the component value, and display relevant results. Click on Component from the search results to view its information, and then click the plus icon to associate an MPN with the part number. Similarly, complete the MPN association for the component R6. With all these updates, you've successfully optimized the bomb data using the LiveBomb interface. To cross-probe the component from LiveBomb to the schematic, select the R6 row, right-click on the part, and choose Cross-probe. This action will highlight the R6 component in the schematic. Now in the schematic, select the R6 component to view its properties. You will see that the SKU, MPN, and manufacturer details have been annotated for this part. All associated MPN details will now be reflected in the design, ensuring that your bomb data is fully integrated and up to date. Now, launch the Component Explorer and place another component on the schematic, ensuring all connections are completed. Click Save to apply the updates. Once saved, switch back to the Live Bomb view. You'll notice that Live Bomb automatically refreshes to display the latest bomb data, including updated timestamp, updated component count. Now, go to the dashboard view by clicking on the dashboard icon. You'll see that the bomb health grade has significantly improved. Previously, a grade D, and now it is upgraded to grade A. That wraps up this overview video on LiveBomb. Thanks for watching.